Hi, my name is Stacy Burkholder. We are so glad that you would join us today for this weekly devotion. Todd, our lead pastor, is off this week, so I'll be sharing in his place. I recently read a quote by Robert Murray McShane. Robert was a young preacher uh, ministering in Scotland in the early 1830s. He was a young man that by all measures was destined to be listed as one of those rare people that really did forsake everything for the hope of the gospel. I was really amazed by his desire to both grow in Christ and his deep love for people. McShane would routinely be found making his way down the cobblestone streets of the village where he served, stopping from house to house and visiting and encouraging the people inside. The only thing that overshadowed his love for people was the passion and the effort that he poured into his relationship with God. His fervent love for God was at the forefront of all that he did. The hard thing to figure is that this brilliant young follower of Jesus was stricken with illness on and off for most of his life and died when he was only 29 years old. In his short ministry, he had an enormous impact on the people he touched. There were an estimated 7,000 people at his funeral. There's one quote in the book that stood out as significant and reason for his impact. I wish I could more effectively adopt his mindset as he shared with others in a short prayer recorded in his journal. McShane would reveal why his life had such an influence and impact in such a short time. He would pray, Lord, teach me to always be speaking as dying to dying. In short, I believe what he was saying was, God, help me to remember that I don't have one day more promised. Help me to speak to others as if it were my last and their last. Help me to speak with bold love and courageous truth as if I might never see this person again. I'm praying that I could do a better job of speaking genuinely to the people that I feel led to speak to. I want to be more courageous and say those things that I genuinely want to say to the people I care about. I'm afraid that I have too often saved my truest words for someone clinging to life in a hospital bed or worse yet, as I write their eulogy after their passing. Why not express those same words when the full weight could bring both life and encouragement to the hearer? Solomon would remind us all in Proverbs 15:4 that gentle words are a tree of life. What words of life are you withholding from someone today because of busyness or fear that they may be rejected? Take a chance, speak God's love and truth into the people in your midst today. And Leave the results up to God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we interact and and move around the circles of our life, Father, I pray that you would give us the strength to open up the love and the genuine care that we have in our heart for the people around us. I pray that we would overcome this sense of fear and rejection, pride, with God a heart of love and compassion and that we would express to those people today that we love through a a handwritten note, through a phone call, or just stopping by their house and tell them exactly how much they mean to us while the day is still here. Thank you for all you've done and for expressing truly to us how you feel about our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.